Here's what's making news at midday. What Wisconsin doctors are saying about COVID cases in children. And the fifth day of searching continues for the fiance of Gabby Petito after her body was found over the weekend. This is News 3 Now at noon. Hello everybody and thanks for joining us at midweek. Mark is off for the rest of the week. He'll be back on Monday. Coronavirus cases in Wisconsin children are continuing to increase. We know that uh, about twice the number of kids have tested positive for the virus uh, compared to one month ago. So there's been a significant increase. Those children that are testing positive for COVID are not necessarily requiring hospitalization, we are, but we are seeing increased numbers. Uh, and fortunately, COVID-19 infection causing severe illness in kids remains relatively low. Here is a look at the numbers of COVID cases in kids that are released weekly by the Wisconsin Department of Health Services. One month ago, children ages 4 to 8, 9 to 13, and 14 to 17 had about 630 to almost 700 cases a week. Now, those cases have more than doubled. Children 9 to 13 reported more than 1,400 cases. Children 14 to 17 are reporting nearly 1,300 cases and children ages four to eight are seeing roughly 1,000 cases. Kids under the age of three are seeing just under 400 cases a week right now. President Biden just kicked off a virtual global vaccination summit at the White House. The world leaders and nonprofit organizations will try to figure out how to vaccinate 70% of the global population within the next year. Natalie Brand reports from the White House. President Biden has announced the U.S. is doubling its purchase of Pfizer's COVID-19 shots to more than 1 billion doses to share with the world. For every one shot we've administered to date in America, we have now committed to do three shots to the rest of the world. The announcement follows the theme of global cooperation that he put forward in his speech to the U.N. General Assembly. The new vaccine donation works toward the ambitious goal of vaccinating 70% of the world population. But currently, only 43% of people globally have received a shot. President Biden is also pressing other wealthy countries to do more. This is an all-hands-on-deck crisis. The global push comes as the U.S. faces some criticism from groups such as the World Health Organization for planning a vaccine booster campaign while many people in poor nations have not yet received one dose. In fact, the FDA is preparing to announce plans for a Pfizer booster as early as today. Last week, an FDA advisory committee recommended a third dose for older Americans, 65 and up, as well as those at high risk. A CDC advisory committee is meeting today to begin its debate of next steps for boosters. Given the types of immune responses we're seeing here, as well as the real-world evidence, uh, this bodes well. Uh, for the vaccine to provide uh, substantial benefit to those individuals that are boosted. Health officials must also determine what to tell Americans who receive Moderna and Johnson & Johnson vaccines, since the current discussions focus only on Pfizer. Natalie Brent, CBS News, the White House. And some promising news this noon when it comes to COVID hospitalizations. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is forecasting new hospitalizations will go down over the next four weeks. This is the second straight week the CDC has predicted a decrease. The latest forecast anticipates there will be somewhere between 4,600 to nearly 12,000 new COVID-19 hospital, COVID hospitalizations for the week reported October. 18th. Well, today is the first day of fall. Happy autumn, and it sure is starting to feel like it outside. Let's head over to the Weather Center. Meteorologist Austin Kopnitsky has the forecast. Hi, Austin. Hello. These temperatures not nearly as warm as what we have seen. Only upper 50s right now. The first day of fall is here, and thanks to that northerly breeze of around 10 to even 20 miles per hour, that is really greatly helping to keep down those temperatures. Dew points are remaining very low, so it's not muggy at all outside here as of right now. And our 24-hour temperature 
change does show that our temperatures are just a little cooler than where they were yesterday. Now we're generally going to remain in the mid to upper 60s and lower 70s over these next few days, but that's also where we should be for this time of the year. Average high temperature is 69 degrees for today. Temperatures currently upper 50s, a few low 60s. Lone Rock, Mineral Point, Monroe, all in those low 60s right now. Much of the same in Janesville at about 63 degrees. Very comfortable overall, but this is some light jacket weather that we're looking at. Now our Doppler track is also staying dry as we're not expecting any showers or storms here for today. Partly sunny skies. It will remain a little on the breezy side of things. Temperatures still looking to warm up to those mid 60s, but when are we going to warm things back up into the low 70s? I will have a look at your extended forecast a little bit later on. All right, Austin, thanks so much. A rollover crash briefly delayed traffic on Highway 19 near the interstate this morning. Dane County dispatchers said the two vehicle crash was first reported around 645 this morning into Forest. Dispatchers did not have information about confirmed injuries, but two ambulances were sent to the scene. The right eastbound lane was closed for about 45 minutes. The search for slain 22 year old Gabby Petito's fiance Brian Laundry resumed today in Florida's Carlton Nature Reserve. The FBI is now asking for the public's help to find Laundry, who has eluded authorities since returning to Florida without Petito on September 1st. Petito's remains were found Sunday in Wyoming's Teton National Forest. The coroner says she died by homicide, but the cause of death has not been released. There is also a new tip about Laundry's movements before he returned to Florida. One woman said on TikTok that she and her boyfriend gave Laundry a ride on August 29th in Wyoming. An Arizona man who allegedly told his father that he snapped and shot a couple of people was charged yesterday with murder about a week after four bodies were found in an abandoned SUV in western Wisconsin. 38-year-old Antoine Suggs of Scottsdale, Arizona faces four counts of second degree intentional murder without premeditation. Suggs is jailed in Arizona and awaiting extradition to Minnesota. His father, 56 year old Darren Osborne, has been charged in Wisconsin with four counts of hiding a corpse. An update this noon on the thousands of Haitian migrants camped out on the border in Del Rio, Texas. The Associated Press is reporting that many of them are being allowed to remain in the U.S. while they seek asylum. That's after a number of deportation flights back to Haiti. President Biden says his administration is handling the influx at the southern border, but Republican Texas Governor Greg Abbott visited the camp yesterday and expressed doubts that all of the migrants would be processed soon. The Biden administration is a man-made disaster of inhumanity, of epic proportions. Border Patrol agents that were seen on horseback apparently grabbing and lashing out at migrants are now on administrative leave pending a Homeland Security invest investigation. The administration has sent additional Border Patrol agents to the area as more than 8,000 migrants remain in the camp. Meanwhile, 33 major U.S. companies are stepping up to help Afghan refugees. They've joined Tent Partnership for Refugees, which is an organization founded by Chobani. Amazon, Facebook, Pfizer, Tyson Foods, Uber, and UPS are among the companies that have promised to hire and train Afghans who are settling in the U.S. Amazon says it will hire refugees in its warehouses and transportation centers with a starting wage of more than $18 an hour. Stay with us. There's more to come today on News 3 Now at Noon. Pfizer teams up with the U.S. to ramp up global vaccine distribution efforts and a test of your sense of direction, smart device free. I'm Elise Preston at the New York Stock Exchange. I'll have those stories and more in your CBS Money Watch report. You're watching News 3 Now at Noon. Winner of the National Edward R. Murrow Award for Overall Excellence in Television.
Are you worried about getting in and out of your bathtub to shower? Don't step over, step through with Wisconsin Walk-In Showers. Let us custom fit your tub to be a walk-in shower without any remodeling. Our bathtub conversions take a few hours to complete. Call before you fall. Wisconsin Walk-In Showers. Do you suffer from chronic or severe back or neck pain? Did you know that there is now a treatment method available right here at Midwest Spine and Nerve Center that offers hope of avoiding spinal surgery for those suffering with bulging, herniated, or degenerative discs? Our therapy help reduce pain related to these conditions and have a high success rate in helping people just like you avoid back or neck surgery. I have experienced low back pain for over 15 years. I had back surgery when I was 26 and had difficulties recovering. The doctors at Midwest Spine and Nerve Center have given me a new lease on life. I am now able to enjoy an active, pain-free lifestyle. Midwest Spine and Nerve Center now to schedule a no-obligation consultation to see if our progressive pain-relieving therapies are right for you. the local farmer's market where Informed Choice Insurance Agency is offering fresh, local, hand-picked Medicare? What do you mean when you say shop local for Medicare? Your local Medicare plans have all the bells and whistles that national TV ads promise, only better, because you're working with local agents who know the doctors, the specialists, and the hospital networks inside and out. You're not going to get that calling a call center in Des Moines, Iowa. Don't get fooled by national TV hype. When it comes to Medicare options, keep it local with Informed Choice Insurance Agency. And they're free! Is your credit score getting in the way of things you want to do? Personal loans through NetCredit help you borrow up to $10,000. So check your eligibility on netcredit.com today without affecting your credit score. You may even be able to build your credit history as you repay. NetCredit, a more personal, personal loan. Home is where the heart is. And Feltco's here to make home even better. Right now, buy one window and you'll get one free. Plus, no interest for one year. That'll keep your home and your family warm, safe, and comfortable all year long. Buy one window, get one free now. And let Feldco get your home ready for fall. Buy one, get one free, and soon. Call now. For quality windows, siding, and doors, call 866 for Feldco. Are you worried about getting in and out of your bathtub to shower? Don't step over, step through with Wisconsin Walk-In Showers. Let us custom fit your tub to be a walk-in shower without any remodeling. Our bathtub conversions take a few hours to complete. Call before you fall. Wisconsin Walk-In Showers. donate an additional 500 million doses of the Pfizer vaccine to low and lower middle income nations. Pfizer and BioNTech said they are selling the doses to the U.S. at a not-for-profit price. This in addition to the 500 million Pfizer doses the U.S. started delivering in August. In total, 1 billion doses will be distributed through next year. Macy's is looking to hire 76,000 full and part-time employees. The positions are in Macy's, Bloomingdale's, and Blue Mercury stores, as well as call centers and warehouses. About 48,000 of those jobs are for the holiday season. Macy's is holding a national hiring kickoff event on 500 stores tomorrow. McDonald's is looking to phase out those plastic toys in kids' Happy Meals by 2025. The fast food chain says it's working with toy companies to develop new ideas ideas like board games with plant-based or recycled pieces. McDonald's is also exploring using recycled plastic toys to make new restaurant trays. And from plastic to paper, can you navigate using an old-fashioned paper map? If so, then there's $1,500 on the line for Windstream's Paper Map Challenge. The communications company is looking for one couple that can find three locations in their city within a week. No GPS, no smartphone. Directionally gifted duos have until October 12th to apply. And that's your CBS Money Watch report. For more, head to cbsmoneywatch.com. At the New York Stock Exchange, I'm Elise Preston. Let's check stocks at the noon hour. Up across the board, the Dow up 430 points, the NASDAQ up almost 150, and the S&P 500 is up 50 as well. Netflix has purchased the rights to Roald Dahl's beloved children's stories. The streaming giant is planning to build what it calls a unique universe of products based on the stories. The rights to the late British author's works are managed by the Roald Dahl Story Company, which Netflix said today 
it has acquired. This isn't the first time the two companies have teamed up. Three years ago, they collaborated on multiple on a multiple animated TV series that included one based on Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and an adaptation of Matilda the Musical. Well, it is the first day of fall today. It's starting to look like it and feel like it, too. Meteorologist Austin Kopnitsky will let us know if the cooler weather is here to stay ahead in your certified most accurate forecast. That's next. What does your retirement future look like? With a well-built retirement, your future can look bright. Your financial home, secure. Retirements are built here every day. Call now and start building yours. Wouldn't it be nice to not have to deal with your messy gutters anymore? Leave that nasty chore in the rear view mirror with a new LeafGuard gutter system. Hi, I'm Andrew Larson, owner of Larson Home Services. My team would love to show you how LeafGuard's patented design keeps leaves and debris out so you can give up cleaning your gutters forever. And now is the best time to get LeafGuard. Order now and get free installation labor, free financing for 12 months, and a $100 Visa gift card with your purchase. Call now to set up a free estimate. Important healthcare announcement. If people tell you your TV is too loud or if listening in some environments has become difficult, we are requesting your participation in a special program called the 30-Day Challenge. Hearing Life Hearing Centers are seeking people with hearing difficulties to evaluate a new digital mini hearing aid now being released. To take part in this event, you must call. Please get a pencil and write down the number below. All people with hearing aids or hearing difficulties are wanted to take part in the 30-day challenge evaluating a new high-tech device that sits discreetly behind your ear. This hearing aid is Bluetooth enabled and is rechargeable. All hearing assessments are performed at no charge for those taking part in the challenge. Participants will try these hearing aids for 30 days. Call the number below and take the Hearing Life 30-day challenge. Time is of the essence when planning for retirement. So take the time now to make sure yours is well built. Retirements are built here every day. Retirement Income Planning, LLC. Tomorrow on News 3 Now This Morning, we're taking time for kids. We're talking family unit as you navigate your COVID concerns. Plus, we're watching the weather where areas to our east could see showers. Join us from 4.30 to 7 for News 3 Now This Morning. The Dream Big Gala. This live and virtual event takes place on Thursday, September 23rd at Bree Stevens Field. Celebrate our community and the people who make it vibrant by supporting your local big brothers, big sisters. The Farm Report is sponsored by Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Farm Director Pam Yonke is back today with the Midwest <laughs> Farm Report. Hi, stranger. Hey, kiddo, how's it going over there? How was your big trip and your trip up to Pambo? You have been a busy lady. <laughs> oh, the, the miles just keep getting racked up, which is fine. It's a busy time for a lot of folks. But, yeah, it was nice to be up in Green Bay for the soggy win on Monday. And now we're looking forward to continuing with the harvest. You know, the weather so far has been pretty cooperative with a lot of Wisconsin farmers trying to get their crop in. Uh, two elements that I want to talk about. Number one, earworm. It's an insect that normally doesn't cause us great problems at this stage in the year, but boy, we've gotten our fair share of this uh, insect coming up on uh, weather patterns from the south, and I'm getting a lot of reports from farmers that are seeing ear war uh, army worm, army worm infestations far later than we ever really discuss them. Uh, it's going to be an individual field-by-field -field evaluation. So much of our harvest is already kind of moved along. 56% of our corn silage is already harvested, so we've got that going on, but we still really haven't started much as far as combining for grain. So every farm's going to have to monitor that. But yes, I am hearing it from a lot, of, a lot of locations. Another harvest that's going on right now, our Wisconsin hemp industry is harvesting. Uh, according to uh, our friend Brian Kuhn, Division Administrator at the Wisconsin Department of Ag, Trade, and Consumer Protection that oversees hemp, he said the crop looks good this year. But what you need to realize is we're probably down 50% as far as the number of growers and acres that wanted to participate in hemp production this year. Why? Well, the markets are just basically saturated. 
saturated and uh, there's no place to go once you do grow it and it is an expensive crop to take care of. Remember Wisconsin's uh, moving its monitoring program from a state-based model to the U.S. Department of Agriculture model coming up next year. Markets today again especially our soybeans and our wheat is very very firm on the midday. Dairy markets are doing all right. Uh, well we're doing all right. Barrel cheese is down two at 158. 40 pound block cheese down two and a half today at 172 and a half. Double A butter drops two and three quarter cents today. 172 and a quarter per pound. So like I said watch out for army worm. They're still out there folks and our Wisconsin hemp producers looking at a good crop even though it may have uh, reduced acres this year. All right, good to hear. It is so good to have you back and see your smiling face. Appreciate it, kid. Glad <laughs> to be here. All right, see you tomorrow. Yep. Farmers are going to like this forecast, Austin. For the harvest, it's high and dry this week. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. We do have a rain chance that we're watching out for, but it's just a chance for a few showers here and there. So we're not really looking at massive widespread thunderstorms or anything of that nature here, even over these next seven to ten days. Live look outside right now still looks pretty good. It feels a little on the cooler side of things. And we're going to stay with the 60s here all the way through Saturday. But the 70s are looking to return here for next week. We're also going to stay dry with almost no rain expected through next week. But I will show that next chance for some showers. Now our Doppler track looks great here for today. We're not going to see those showers today as we are definitely staying dry. Big step back and there's just nothing out west. So all's clear on the western front. Great news here for us. That does mean that we are likely going to stay dry here for quite some time. But taking a look at our future track, it does show these temperatures that just are not very impressive. We've been talking about 80s and even upper 80s over this last weekend at times, but now we're going to be talking about 40s to 60s and 70s. So we really are dropping that spectrum down a little bit, and it does look like here by tomorrow afternoon, we're likely again going to sit in those mid 60s, possibly some upper 60s here for some. But that next rain chance does look to move through here on Friday. Taking a peek at our latest models, this is about all we're looking at here. Some showers passing through in the afternoon on Friday, then clearing right out of the area leaving us with quite a bit of some sunshine afterwards. So that's really the only main chance for showers and storms that we're really looking at as of right now. Our future cast for tonight does show that low of about 43 degrees, partly cloudy skies, cooler conditions overall. So we really are going to stick on the cooler side of things. Wind speeds, however, this is one thing that we do need to watch out for today. Generally coming from the north, and what this does for us here is it pulls down all that chilly air from up north. So we're looking at about a 10 to even almost 20 degree breeze right now. Juno at about 20 miles per hour. Madison and Monroe 18 miles per hour as of right now. So a little bit on the breezier side of things outside currently. But then you look at our dew points and they're staying oh so low right now. Two uh, dew points in the 40s. This is a good indication of what we're looking at here for low temperatures tonight. And that's right. We could see temperatures falling down even into the lower 40s here overnight tonight. Taking a peek at some of our temperatures, however, and they're slowly warming up. Still locked in those upper 50s right here in Madison, but we are seeing quite a few of those 60s moving through here, especially in our western communities. 61 in Mineral Point. Bosque Bell right now, 67 comfortable degrees outside. And that high temperature trend is going to show that we're going to be pretty close to average or a little bit below here over these next few days. Then we're looking at a slight warm up and temperatures generally look to balance out in those upper 60s and low 70s. So temperatures not nearly as hot as what we have seen. Another look at your extended forecast still shows a lot of sunshine, but those temps, we're not talking 80s and 90s anymore. We're more so talking 60s and 70s for highs and low temperatures, 40s and lower 50s. So temperatures really starting to fall here. And you know, it is the first day of fall outside. So this is about the time of the year that we start to see that average high temperatures have fallen to the upper 60s. So this is pretty close to where we should be for this time of the year. And warm days and cooler nights should mean even better fall colors, right? That's right. It's looking like it right now. I even have my fall tie currently on right now. <laughs> so you're going to see a lot of this over the next few months. Well done. All right. Thank you, Austin. There's more to come today at noon when we come back. We'll see what Howard's working on in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen. It's apple season and we're baking up an applicious treat that is worthy of a blue ribbon. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today.
Stanton Optical is always here for you with our safe telehealth technology. You can just walk in for an eye exam whenever you need one. And your eye exam is free when you buy two pair of glasses for as low as $59.95. Find your nearest store at stantonoptical.com or call 1-800-STANTON. Hello, I'm Roman Ryan of Ryan Funeral Homes. As a locally owned and operated funeral home, it's important to know that not all funeral homes are the same. Some other Madison area funeral homes are actually owned by corporations based outside of the United States. A corporately owned funeral home is focused on the bottom line, making services more costly. We have served local families for more than 80 years, and our priority is investing in the community and your family. In your time of need, Ryan Funeral Homes are here for you. You protected our rights, preserved our freedom. You may have even risked your life for us. Now, it's our turn to fight for you. Your local Wisconsin emergency, energy, and housing assistance providers and the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund reward the service of our veterans with rental and energy support in their time of crisis. Apply today to get the fresh start you've earned. Get up and hurry into Menards for a great selection and a free rug. Buy any furniture at $2.99 or more and get a free 5 by 7 rug. That's $149.99 in savings. Want a comfy new chair? Pick one up and get a free rug. Cozy up in a new love seat and get a free rug. Buy a couch or go big with a sectional and get a free rug. Get to Menards before they're gone. In-store only while supplies last. Save big money at my mom is a very outgoing social person. She was very hesitant at first, leaving her house that she'd been in for over 40 years. She was not really sure why we needed to do this. We walked in and we were like, wow, this looks like a five-star hotel. Now that she's here and she's around people every day and she's being social, she really enjoys her time here. When I talk to her at night, she's happy and she's not sad and lonely anymore. I feel relieved and a lot less stress knowing she's here and knowing she's safe. Six months of AccuView Oasis contacts plus an eye exam. Only $125. Lowest price ever. Plus free trial lenses in store. Get the deal at Stanton Optical. Unbeatable prices without the drama. Apple season. And that means our markets and farm stands are brimming with all sorts of freshly picked apples. And right now, they're at some pretty good prices. So besides eating them as is, we came up with an apple shortbread bar that I can only describe as, well, how about applelicious? To make the shortbread crust, we beat together some butter, sugar, and a little vanilla. Once it's creamy, we add some flour and a bit of salt. This gets pressed into the bottom of an eight inch square baking dish and it gets baked for just a few minutes. While that's in the oven, we toss peeled and sliced apples with some sugar, flour, cinnamon, and a little nutmeg. On top of our baked crust goes a crumb mixture that we made by combining some brown sugar with flour and butter. The apples go over that before finishing it off with more of the crumb topping, and then we pop it back into the oven. Once it cools, it's ready to serve. Imagine the combo of the best apple pie and a really decadent apple cobbler served on a shortbread crust. To get the recipe for what we call our apple cobbler shortbread square, simply visit our website. I'm Howard with Kelly in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found a fresh from the orchard way for you to say, ooh, it's so good. That does look applicious, and it'd be a good day to go <laughs> apple picking today. Yeah, it would be a very good day to go apple picking. Very fall-like outside, and, you know, it's the first day of fall, so it's starting to feel like fall out there, and that trend will continue. We are looking at a little bit of a warm-up here and there, but we're only talking the lower to mid-70s here for Sunday and Monday. So these temperatures, although we are going to warm things up from the mid-60s, it's not going to warm up very much. Say hello to fall because these cooler temperatures are here. Next chance of showers is on Friday. All right, Austin, thank you. Have a great afternoon, everybody. Everybody, thanks for watching. Hope to see you back here for Live at 4.